Now you've all heard... No, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> you've all heard of Jonah. Well, this is the other story about Jonah and the whale, or the grumps. And it comes from Yorkshire. And I'll tell you the story of Jonah, a really remarkable tale. A peaceful and humdrum existence he had until one day he went for a sail. A bit more going Jonah. The weather was grand when they started. But later, a turn of the tide, the wind started blowing. The water got rough, and Jonah felt funny inside. <laughs> Here's the boat. The wind's blowing. started pitching and tossing, he tried his feelings to smother. At last he just bent his head over side, and one thing seemed to bring up another. <laughs> <laughs> when the sailors saw what he were doing, it gave them a bit of a jar. They didn't mind trippers enjoying themselves, but thought this here killed them too far. Said one, is there now what you can think on to stop you from feeling so bad? And Jonah said, aye, lift me over the side and took me in. There's a good lad. <laughs> the sailors were not one to argue. He said, Adam, you know what is best. Then he picked up Jonah by seat of his pants and chucked him in as per request. <laughs> now my grandpa's came over that moment, that's a whale. And here's our grandpa's. <laughs> our grandpa's came over that moment, and seeing the old man out set, it swam to his side, and it opened its mouth and said, Come in, lad, out of the wet. <laughs> its manner were kindly and pleasing as if to say RSVP. And Jonah said, I've eaten a kipper or two, but I never thought would have eaten me. <laughs> the inside of Grampus surprised him. For the first time he'd been behind scenes. He found accommodation quite ample for one, but it smelled a bit of sardines. <laughs> then over the sea they went cruising, and Jonah got filled with delight, with his eye to the zone. In Grandpa's head, he watched ships that passed in the night. And I'm tired of watching, said Jonah. I'll rest for a minute or so. I'm sad. I'm afraid he won't find your bed very soft, said the Grandpa's. I've got a very hard row. <laughs> At that moment, up came a whaleboat, said Jonah. What's this here? We've struck. Thereafter, my blubber, the Grandpa's replied. You'd better hold tight while I duck. But the water came in through the spy hole and hit Jonah's face a real slosher. He said, shut your blow hole, and Grampus replied, I can't, lad, it needs a new washer. <laughs> <laughs> Jonah tried hard to bear up the water, but found all his efforts in vain. For as fast as he emptied the slops out through the gills, they came in through blow hole again. When it finished, they came to the surface, Jonah took a look out and he saw they were stuck on a bit of a sandbag that lay one rod, one pole or third from the shore. Mm. Said the Grampus, we're in shallow water. I've brought you as far as I may. If you sit on the blowhole on top of my head, I'll spout you the rest of the way. <laughs> so Jonah obeyed his instructions and Grampus, his, lips, lip, his lungs did expand, and then blew out a fountain and lift your up and carried him safely to land. And there was tears in their eyes when they parted, and each blew a kiss, a real big one. 
Then Gandalf went off with a swish of his tail. And Jonah walked back home to Willie. <laughs> Michelle, can I ask you a question? Yes, please. Uh, 